Hey guys, my name is Eden, this is Carl. welcome to the series where I teach you how to build a Discord or pop up your server. Today we are talking about automatically updating a database on boot. In the last episode we talked about the experience system and how it was kind of flawed in the way that it, it, it only worked with members that were joining the server new. Well this time we're actually going to be fixing that, we're going to be updating the database um, to only contain members in the server but we're going to be adding all the members and removing records and stuff and we're just going to be, it's essentially syncing up the database in a way. Um, so I just want to remind you of the database structure first, we've got these four tables, we only need to work with these two uh, so we're going to be adding our guild into, um, into the database and we're also going to be adding our members into the experience. Um, so for that we don't actually need to go there, we need to come into our, our bot and we need to set. Um, we could probably do. We could probably do this here. So db dot update. Uh, so we already import db here, and we're just doing the update call here. We would do it in on connect, but I'm not a hundred percent sure if that would work. I don't know. I don't know how the cache. I guess we can try it in connect. Because I've got other bots that do it all in connect, so perhaps this will work. Um, yeah, we'll do it there and we'll create an uh, update. No, we actually don't want to do db update, do we? We want to do it, we might as well just do it here. Uh, so if, hang on, if we get rid of that and then we do uh, dev, we'll just do it here, it's easier. Update db self. Um, we probably want to do we, do we need async? I don't think so. And then actually in the on connect you want to do self dot update db. Cool. So in our, in our update db we want to do a few things. So we actually are going to need the database. So we we do still need that imported. We're going to do a db dot execute. <clears throat> uh, well actually we're going to do for guild in self dot bot dot guilds. Uh, db execute. No, we're not going to do that. We're going to do it a slightly better way. Um, did we do a multi exec? We did. So we're actually going to be using this multi exec down here. So we want to do db dot multi exec uh, insert or ignore into. This basically means we are inserting the data if it's not there, and if it is there, we're just passing over it. Um, guilds, I think it's guilds. It is guilds. Um, guild ID because we only need to input one values and then our uh, thing. And then we need to pass in a, a value set. So we need to pass in a series of tuples. So we can actually pass in like a generator. Um, and we need to do guild ID. We're going to move this onto another line actually. <clears throat> Uh, guild.id and then we need the trailing comma and I'll explain that in a second for guild in self.bot.guilds so what we're doing here is for guild in self.bot.guilds we're inserting into the guilds table if they're not already there um, we need to pass each value through as a tuple because that's the general standard I know we don't do that but we abstracted it away uh, when we made our systems here, so you can see we created tuples here rather than do it here. But multi exit doesn't do that, <clears throat> so we actually need to create the tuple here. But because it's one item, we actually need to have a trailing comma here, otherwise, it will take each individual number as what well. it might actually because it's an ID, it might not do this. But if you have, say, for example, a string, it will take each individual character, the string, as a, as a list. So we need to like, specify that this is a one element tuple. Uh, and that will add everything into the guilds. We don't need to specify the prefix because it is a default. We have prefix text default, so it will be automatically set as plus. You can overwrite this by doing prefix and then having another question mark here and then having the, the thing down here, your other prefix. Um, but because we set it as default, well, that's the whole reason we set it as default, so we didn't need to. Um, <clears throat> so that will input and so all our guilds into there. So let me just make sure that works real quick. Uh, there's no attribute standard out. Oh, there's an error. Uh, there's an error for the thing. Work itself. Uh, bot. Oh. Um. Uh. I've messed up. It's self 
dots and then guilds. There we go. Uh, so that should now run in theory. We'll see if it actually works in the connected stage. It appears to, which is nice. Um, oh, it hasn't actually committed yet. We need to wait for it to commit. While I'm doing that, I will say that with this here, this update DB, you probably want to do a commit call at the end. So you, you, uh, you'll want to do a db.commit. But I'll just wait on this one because I forgot to add that, so I'll see you in a second. Okay, so the timer's rolled around. As you can see, we started out with uh, connection timed out. Okay, I think that's just for updates or something. Um, we have these, uh, well, we have an empty table, but if we refresh, we actually have our guild ID in there. So 6266, I'm pretty sure it's the Cobra server ID, should be anyway. And we have our prefix set to plus. So if I were to run, say, plus help, with any luck, <laughs> it will... With my internet will die. <laughs> God's sake. Oh yeah, the internet is completely dead. Alright, give me a second to sort this out. Imagine having good internet. Oh, the entire bot is like shut down. Yeah, the whole bot's gone down. <laughs> Imagine having internet that actually works properly. Imagine having internet that can support more than one device at once. There we go, so our prefix works. Um, <clears throat> we have our fantastic help command that is great and amazing and everything. Um, and we can change the prefix and everything and do all that fantastico stuff. Um, so now we need to go and do the same thing for the members. So because this is a single server bot, um, well this is a single server bot so realistically we didn't need to do this but it's a thing so we did it. Because it's a single server bot we could do this slightly differently, uh, that's how you would do it in a multi-server bot. It's not too different but you would still use a multi-exec and you would do more or less the same logic really. So ignore, it, insert or ignore into exp uh, user id uh, because again our XP level uh, or XP our level and our XP lock are all set automatically for us so we don't need to pass those in uh, values question mark uh, and then you would do so you do the same thing uh, member dot ID for member in self dot um, oh it's interesting self dot guild isn't set until down here so you can potentially do this in the on ready, I suppose, if you want to, if you were to do, okay. I will show you how to do this the multi-server way, because it's just easier. Um, so if you do, uh, if you're doing this a single server way and you did this in the on ready, you would do self.guild.members here. And it is basically exactly the same logic. So we're getting uh, the guild from down here, and we're iterating through the members. Um, However, if you were to do multi-server, you would do uh, guild.members for guild in self.bot, not self.bot, uh, self.guilds. So you're essentially creating this huge list, <laughs> more or less, uh, of, uh, of members in guild.members and then for every guild in self.guilds. I'm pretty sure it's the right way around. <laughs> Um, I always get a little bit confused about which way around these two things are supposed to go, but there's only one way to find out. Um, uh, the thing a guild is not defined. It might be the other way around then. Uh, for guild, it's up to guild for member and guild members, perhaps? Okay, I was fine with that. We'll see if it actually inputted the right information. Uh, it didn't input any information at all. Because grats, we did a we did a wrong thing. Um, all right, let me quickly look up this because I've done this I've done this a load of times before. I don't quite remember off the top of my head, so give me a second to look it up. Okay, a little bit of debugging and another internet crash later. Um, <clears throat> I worked out that yes, this was actually the wrong way around. The guilds needs to go first, then the members second. Um, and that will give you a list of single element tuples of member IDs in your server. Um, I also worked out that if you're doing stuff with just guilds and you don't need members, then you can put the self to update DB here. Um, but if you do actually need to add members to your database, it needs to be in the on ready 
um, which is why I was getting confused because the bot I was referencing before doesn't actually have to add any members to the database, which is why it's in the onConnect. Um, so yeah, if you launch that now, it should work fine. Not any errors? We haven't got any errors, and it should work just fine. There we go. So we now have we have oh yeah. Um, there is a little bit of extra validation we need to do. We need to check if... Let me get back to it. Where is it? There it is. Um, <clears throat> if not member.bot. So we don't want to add bot members to our database. I will actually just get rid of this database object because we now can. Uh, and launch it again. And we should have... Because our 199th member just joined the the server we should have 199 entries there we go so close to 200 it's actually kind of infuriating um, as you can see we have just this huge wad of IDs here all of which XP locked here um, and all of which um, have zero XP and a zero level and our guilds has worked perfectly again um, but what if a member leaves while um, uh, the bot is offline. I'm not going to do the same thing for guilds, but we'll do this for, for members. So we need to actually get a list of stored members. So in stored uh, members uh, equals db.column, and we're going to do column. Um, <clears throat> uh, and this will be a list of stored member IDs. Uh, select user ID from exp, and then that will just return a list of user IDs. Um, we need to go uh, for ID in stored members if um, not if not self dot guild. We'll just use self dot guild here. Uh, we'll actually change this up here to self dot guild, I guess. Yeah, we do, we, uh, we don't need all these other guilds, so we'll just uh, we'll just do this in self guild. If you want to do it the multi server way, you can uh, use that again. If not self guild member um, ID. So if it can't resolve a member, then um, remove or oh, to remove dot append. Um, ID, and then we need to set a to remove as well. It's it's a lot it's a lot messier doing it this way. Uh, it's a lot messier removing members from our server, but oh well. And then we need to do db dot multi exec um, delete from exp where user ID equals that, and then we need to once again um, do uh, ID for ID in to remove. <clears throat> so what this is doing here is it's grabbing a list of stored members that we have, it's going through each one and tr attempting to create a member object out of it using our guild, using our self guild. If it can't create a member object from this, aka if our member is not in this guild, we need to remove it from a database so we can do to remove dot append, then we can do a big multi exec at the end where we remove, um, we actually need to do that properly we remove um, all of the IDs from the, the database. Now I can't actually show you that um, really, well, I suppose I could. If I, if I just quickly, is the bot, yeah, if I just kick it, um, test account. That should work, in theory. Um, <clears throat> so XP, yeah, we have 199. If we launch the bot, hopefully this works first time. Cause I don't want to have to what hassle with this. Um, it doesn't. Fantastic. Guild, which is an attribute member. Oh yeah, because get member in it. Uh, get member. <laughs> Grats me. Um, so now that should work. There we go. And refresh. We still have 199. Interesting. Interesting, interesting, interesting. 
I don't know why. <laughs> if not... Let's actually see what uh, this prints. That's gonna be a hell, hell, hell of print. That's gonna go wrong. Oh goodness. Um, what is this? <laughs> so, oh god, it's in a random order as well. Uh, it's matching the case, so we want to set that. Oh, it's not actually stored, what the hell? Oh, no, it did work. It did work. Someone else joined the server at the same time. <laughs> um, so yeah, we do now have 199 again, it's just a different 199. <laughs> That's not confusing at all. Um, but yeah, that did actually work. It's just weird to test because someone, ironically, dev here, joined the server uh, immediately in time. Um, so yeah, that will actually do it for um, uh, for this video. If you like the video, say hello down below. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to leave them uh, down below as well. Or you can join the Discord using the link in the description. If you really like the video, consider subscribing and hitting the notification bell so you don't miss out on future uploads. And if you really, really like the video, consider supporting me on Patreon. Uh, of course, you don't have to, but it's a really cool thing of you to do. With that in mind, I would like to thank Adam Dreher, not Adam Dreher, uh, Jackster, and Tashank Bamidi um, for being super patrons. And I will see you next time where we talk about... Um, uh, getting a member's level and rank using commands. Um, so I'll see you for that.